AI is like a really, really smart intern. So, hey, we got this intern from Harvard. We're, we're starting to plan for 2025. Can you put together a pro format? It's a Harvard MBA. It's going to be a good looking spreadsheet, yeah. but it's not going to be 100% accurate, mm. right? There's, there's going to be some things that because they haven't been at that company long enough, they haven't been in this field long enough, in the space, whatever it is, there's going to be a gap. That CFO, they're going to go, I'm going to let him do the heavy lifting. And then I'm going to pull it in and I'm going to go, all right, let me take this and tweak it and adjust it. And that's the way yeah. I kind of think of AI with a lot of these, a lot of these processes like that. Let's allow our team to leverage AI to give us the framework and then let's mm -hmm. take that and then let's make the tone us. Let's add the data points in there. Let's get it the rest of the way. And, and if we do that, that, that becomes operating with more efficiency. So there's two points I completely agree with you on. And there's one I disagree with you on there. I think it's more than an intern. I would almost equate it to, you know, a, a, based on the persona you give it, right? PhD, multiple degrees. Fair but point. the piece I agree with though, whether it's an intern or somebody highly skilled, if you put them in your organization, they're not going to add a ton of value if they don't have the context. And the, right. the third point you mentioned that is critical, they'll start with something generic and they get something generic out. The data you're leveraging within the GPT or whatever tool you're using, that's where it starts to really unlock something. If you're not applying that core piece of it, the context, the data, you know, it's, it's, it's cool. It's kind of like a magic trick, but is it adding right. real value? So there's...